Well, Chaucer was born about 1343 on the north bank of the Thames, in modern Thames Street, to a family of wine dealers. And his family were ambitious, so instead of investing him in the uh, wine business, they sent him off to an aristocratic court. And so he's a crossover character, begins in the merchant class, crosses into royalty, and enters royal service. Because of this, he's got an unprecedented range, I think, of social experience. And his life is very well documented, over 500 life records, much better documented than Shakespeare's. And uh, there's a funny uh, poem by um, Terry Eagleton called um, The Ballad of English Literature, which begins, Chaucer was a class traitor, because he crossed from the merchant class to royalty. But we can say that also enriched his experience, because he had such an amazingly wide range of uh, knowledge and acquaintance. And he returned to the city to be in charge of the import-export of wool. He had other jobs for the crown. And he carried on this project of writing, not with royal approval or support, but because he wanted to be an English poet, which is a paradoxical idea, because poetry was in Latin. What if we try and do it in English? And what if we have a really broad frame of reference, uh, including pilgrims from every walk of life?